Hello everyone, welcome to Registech. Myself Karthik Punnuswami. You are at the right place to learn in and out of Java concepts. If you guys are very new to our channel, please consider subscribe to it and don't miss to watch till the end of this video. In this video, we are going to learn about navigable map in a collection framework in Java. So, in our previous videos, we have learned about navigable set in the collection framework, right? Similar to that, there is a navigable map under the map interface. So if you guys see here, navigable map is under sorted map. So navigable map is the child interface of sorted map and actually it is coming under map. So map interface has key value pair and sorted map interface is nothing but a child interface of map interface and it contains some specific methods. Similarly, navigable map is a child interface of sorted map and this also contains some navigable methods. As we know, whenever there is a navigable the keyword, it means like the Oracle team uh, decided to add some more extra methods in order to navigate between those key value pair objects inside the collection framework. That is the first thing in your mind if you think like you have to use some navigable uh, methods. So navigable set or navigable map you have to use it. Okay guys. So the sorted map actually generally it contains like duplicate keys are not allowed and duplicate values are allowed and by default some sorting order will be implemented by default. So based on the keys only it will be implemented and there are some specific methods which are defined in the sorted map. So let's say if I have an example 10a, 20b, 30c, 40d and 50e. Let's say this is the key value pair I have and I want to get the first value I can use the first key. So I can get the first key which is a 10 and if I want to get the last key I can use last key and also if I want to get let's say uh, less than some key value right. So let's say if I want to get whatever is exist less than 30 then I can go for head map of 30 which is going to give 10 comma a and 20 comma b but what will happen if you want to get something specific right how many records are which is before 30 like that right so this is giving like both 10 a comma 20 b but if you want to get only the last before this one let's say the last before 30 is 20 and the uh, next be uh, like next after 30 is 40 that i won't get it here right so what they did is they added those methods and are a navigable map and that is mainly for navigation so there are like these are the methods they added in the navigable map which we will go in detail and this is a mainly used when we want to navigate between the objects so let's say there is a method called lower key of 30 if i want to say lower key of 30 which means less than 30 what is that uh, the last before 30 which is 20 okay and floor key of 30 which means less than th less than or equal to 30 so since it is equal to 30 30 is already exist so it is going to return 30 right and let's say floor key of 29 so less than or equal to 29 so there is no 29 here so what it is what it did is what it has it's returning is less than 29 is nothing but 20 so it is going to return the 20 similarly the opposite way higher key of 30 means greater than 30 which is the first immediate uh, the the first immediate after 30 which is 40 then ceiling key of 30 which means greater or equal to 30 which means if it is equal if it is exist it is has to turn it otherwise it has to turn the next immediate uh, higher value which is 30 because 30 is already exist right then ceiling key of 32 which means like same greater than or equal to 32 so 32 doesn't exist the next immediate value is 40 so it is returning 40 if you guys see here the lower floor ceiling these are all like mathematical uh, formulas where we use in our typical mathematics so this is same they have implemented in the name method names and similarly if i want to remove the first one and i want to return it what is that right then if i use pole first key off then it means like whatever exists in the first key key value pair it will be removed and that will be written as part of this one so 10 equal to a is going to return but after that the set is going the map is going to return uh, is going to become 20b 30c 40d 50e and 10a will be removed from that map and similarly let's say i have this map like this and if i want to remove the last set right then last uh, key entry pair right then i have to uh, call a method called poll last key off so it is going to poll means like it is going to remove it last key means whatever the last key it is going to remove the entry entire entry set right so poll last key off which is going to return me like what it was actually deleted so it is going to return 50 equal to e which is that is what it is going to uh, remove it but after that uh, removal removal the entire map will become 10a 20b 30c 40d because 50e is removed and if i want to uh, let's say this is a, a number right uh, the keys are numbers so based on the thumb rule if it is a default natural sorting order right so let's say if i create it with a default natural sorting order for the numbers it will be ascending order 
for the strings it is alphabetical so since the keys are numbers here in our typical example like 10 20 30 40 50 are the numbers so it is by default sorted with ascending order 10 a 20 b 30 c 40 d 50 e so this is ascending order right so if i want to reverse back let's say if i want to make a descending order then i have i have a method called descending map of so it is going to turn back 50 e 40 d 30 c 20 b and 10 a this is act exactly opposite of whatever it is there so these are the some specific methods they have added in the navigable map so it is very important to understand how these methods works because in your programming if you want to get some data and if you want to navigate between the objects then you should know what method you have to use at right away right so let me summarize this one so navigable map is na nothing but like navigable means navigation so navigable map has some methods which are mainly to navigate between the objects inside the uh, collection framework so map is a key value pair interface and under map we have a sorted map which is a child interface of map interface which has some specific methods and but these specific methods are not enough fair enough to uh, navigate between the objects and that is why oracle team decided to add some more extra methods under a navigable map which is a child interface of sorted map and this navigable map contains some methods which are specifically to get the last before value or the next after value like that so these are the methods they have lower key is going to turn the uh, less than and if it is like floor key it is going to less than or equal to and if it is floor key of less than or equal to if the value doesn't exist let's like say 29 doesn't exist the next immediate lower value is 20 so that is why it is going to turn 20 and it is exactly opposite here higher key of 30 means greater than 30 which is 40 and ceiling key is like greater than or equal to let's say 30 is does exist here so it is going to turn 30 if the 32 doesn't exist it is going to return the next immediate higher value is 40 so that is why it is giving 40 and if i want to remove the first key and then i want to turn back the entire uh, map then i can go for poll first key up whenever you guys see about poll poll means removing removing first key means it is going to remove the first key it is very simple to understand based on the method names right and poll last key means it is going to remove the last key which is 50 comma e and if i want to reverse back let's say instead of natural sorting order of key as a now ascending order if i want to reverse back which is a descending map if i want to get it then i have a direct method which is something like descending map of it is going to reverse back the uh, entry of collection uh, key, key value pair so and by default the map interface or the sorted map since it is a uh, under sorted map so it has its own properties duplicate keys are not allowed and duplicate values are allowed and by default there will be some sorting order will be implemented and if you guys notice here sorted map map navigable map all our interface right so in java we can't able to create an object for interface then what is the way then we can use all these methods right so there should be some implemented class for these interfaces and within that in the, within the class so these methods we can use it so what is the class so let's get wait for the next video that is where we are going to learn about the implemented class of a navigable map here i have written a program to demonstrate navigable map in java as always, I wish to go with an agenda to see what we are trying to achieve in this program. So in this program, we are going to see what is a navigable map and actually basically it is a interface. It extends the sorted map interface and we are going to see how it actually handles the duplicate keys and values. And also uh, by default, it will, you know, uh, uh, store the data uh, in sorting by using the keys. And also we are going to see some special methods, which is specifically for navigable map and these are special methods which is applicable only in the navigable map interface and we are going to see uh, how it actually handles the null insertion so i am trying to run this program so that i can explain from this output okay here you go so what i am trying to do is navigable map so navigable map is interface basically in java we cannot create an object for the interface and that is why i am using its implemented class which is tree map so for the tree map i am trying to create a new uh, object so using this one like uh, nm using the put method i am trying to add the elements here let's say 10 30 50 40 20 like this right so if you guys see here the put method actually uh, needs two arguments one is the key another one is value when i say map it is a key value pair when i say navigable maps basically it actually handles like more methods in order to navigate between the elements and if you guys see here in the put method i'm using 10 comma a what does it mean so 10 is a key and a is the value and key comma value right so similarly i'm adding like 30 comma b 50 comma c 40 comma d and 20 comma e so after i add all these elements into the navigable map i can see here let's say 10 a 20 e 30 b uh, 40 d 50 c if you guys see here i added in a different way like 10 30 and then 50 and then 40 and then 20 but if you guys see here how it got added 
if you guys see here it is ascending order right the keys are in the ascending order 10 20 30 40 50 that is how it actually works by default it uses uh, default sort uh, sorting order which means like uh, since the keys are uh, integer numbers it is actually uh, sorted using uh, ascending order and that is how the navigable map contains the elements here now now we are going to look into uh, some of the methods which are specific to um, navigable map let's say if i want to get the last element before some value let's say out of this element let's say if i want to get the last element before 30 what is that so which is 20 right so for that if i want to get that then i can go for lower key which means less than the object so lower key means lower key of 30 means less than 30 less than 30 is nothing but 20 okay 20 exists so it is going to give the 20 here that is what the lower key actually returns 20 and let's say um if i want to get less than or equal to object let's say i am want to know uh, if, uh, if the 30 exists i want to turn 30 if the 30 doesn't exist i want to get the value which is less than 30 then i have to go for floor key so i have written two times here let's say floor key of 30 and then floor key of 29 the reason why i have written two times is to demonstrate you guys how the floor key works internally so floor key of 30 means so 30 first it will check whether 30 exists or not so in our data set yes 30 exists right so it is going to return this 30 okay and let's say um i'm going to return let's say running like floor key of 29 so here 29 doesn't exist so what is the value less than 29 is nothing but 20 and that is why it is giving 20 here so because this 20 is the less than 29 the value which is less than the given value or equal to the given value that is called floor key and similarly the other way around where you guys can go for higher ends let's say if i want to know what is the value which is immediately after the given value let's that means that is nothing but like greater than the object right then i can go for higher key so higher key of 30 means in this data set whatever the value which is greater than 30 which is nothing but 40 so that is why i'm getting 40 here higher key and similarly if i want to get greater than or equal to object then i can go for ceiling key of uh, the given value so ceiling key means like it is going to check whether the given value the 30 exists or not if it exists it is going to return that if this doesn't exist it is going to look for the next uh, you know uh, previous like next uh, higher number, higher value so here i have written two times ceiling key of 30 and ceiling key of uh, 32 right the reason is that first time i'm trying to see ceiling key of 30 right so 30 means it is going to check in this uh, navigable set uh, map whether we have 30 yes 30 we have so it is going to return 30 next time i'm right i'm trying to print like ceiling key of 32 so 32 it is going to check okay 32 doesn't exist so what is the uh, value or what is the key which is greater than 32 here it is 40 so that is why it is giving 40 here so that is the beauty of this methods and there are a couple of methods basically if you want to remove the first entry or if you want to remove the last entry so where you can use so when i say entry entry is nothing but the key value pair so this is the navigable map, map right so in this navigable map so 10 is the key 10 is the key a is the value right 20 is the key e is the value right similarly 10 equal to a this combination of key value is called entry set okay and similarly this is another entry and this is another entry the combination or the collection of entries are nothing but navigable map okay so if i want to remove the first entry then i can go for poll first entry of poll first entry of means i want to poll means like removing remove the first entry what is the first entry in this navigable map this is the first entry right so i want to remove this one so 10 equal to a will be removed and when i run this uh, when i uh, you know call this method the output of this method will be whatever the value or the entry it is written or uh, like removed which is 10 equal to a and after that i am trying to print it basically if you guys see here from this 10 20 30 40 50 after 10 equal to a has been removed so the navigable map contains only 20 30 40 50 and so that is what the poll entry the poll first entry method will do and similarly the last entry right poll last entry if i have a requirement that i need to remove the last entry from the given map or the given navigable map then i can use poll last entry of so here if you guys see here this is the current uh, navigable map right in this navigable map i have like 10 20 30 40 50 here 50 equal to c is the last entry in this navigable map and i want to remove this then when i remove this it is going to give me it is going to return the value which is returned like which is removed which is nothing but the entry which is 50 equal to c after i removed the last entry i am going to get the entry set like only this one 20 equal to e and 30 equal to b and 40 equal to d if you guys see here this is what i'm using it right the same navigable map i'm using here in this case like so in this 20 30 40 50 i'm removing the 50 equal to c and after removing 50 equal to c 
I am having only 20, 30, 40, which is nothing but after I remove the last entry map. And similar to uh, you know uh, the navigable set in navigable map also we have a, like a method called descending map. So let's say whenever I have a requirement that I need to uh, you know sort this based on some descending map, right? So by default it will be in the ascending order, right? But if you want to convert the other way around, let's say descending order, then you can go for dot descending map of. So it will automatically convert this into the descending order. So this is the ascending order. If you guys see here, right now the navigable map contains only 20 equal to E. 30 equal to b 40 equal to d after i run this uh, method let's say descending map so it is going to change into 40 equal to d and 30 equal to b and 20 equal to e this is how it is actually and now uh, this is the way like where i'm trying to see or demonstrate how the null keys are allowed or not inside the navigable map as we know that navigable map is a child interface of sorted map basically it is by default it will sort the given key and if the key is null it cannot use the null to uh, sort the elements like sort the entries because null we cannot use it for any sorting and that is why it is going to return null pointer exception so what i'm trying to do is navigable map nm1 is equal to new tree map of so i'm trying to create an object for the tree map and i'm trying to put null as an object like null as a key and a is a value so it is going to throw me null pointer exception i want to show you guys like how the null pointer exception comes in the runtime that is what this is actually put in the last so that you guys can see so basically it won't allow null to be inserted because it cannot use null for sorting the elements so this is all about like uh, navigable map if you guys want to know more about navigable map map what you guys can do is you guys can uh, mouse over the navigable navigable map and see how it was actually implemented by the java oracle team since it is interface it actually comes up with all the you know uh, declaration of the methods um, if you guys can see here navigable map actually extends sorted map and this is actually since java 1.6 it is there and there you can see all the uh, methods declared uh, whatever we have seen see here so far lower entry and then um, floor entry right so all the methods right whatever we have seen like ceiling key all these methods has been defined here like i mean has been declared here so um you guys can explore a lot of other uh, methods if you guys want to know more about navigable map and what i would suggest is you guys can run this program like write the same program in your eclipse and try to run it and see how it is actually uh these methods are working by manipulating the data and also see uh, if you guys can able to uh see the exact output what i am showing in this demo and if you guys have any question please post your comments and i will see in the next video guys thank I you hope you guys have understood the concept very clearly but still if you guys have any questions or any clarifications required please post your comments in the comment section and i will be more than happy to assist keep watching all our videos there are a lot more videos to come and if you guys like this video please hit the thumbs up button and also subscribe to the channel and share with your friends don't forget to hit the bell icon Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next interesting video guys.